Today on Syntax TV, we'll be taking you through how to install your RME device on Windows. For this tutorial, we are using a Babyface Pro FS, but the process is largely the same for all of RME's products. RME are continuously updating the drivers for their products. With that in mind, to get the latest driver, go to rme-audio.de and find the download section at the top of their website. Here you will find all their firmware and driver downloads. There is a section for both Windows and Mac, and along the bottom here you have all the RME products that require driver downloads. We're going to select USB as the Babyface Pro runs from a USB connection, and find the driver labeled Babyface Pro FS and download this. Scroll up and also download the Flash Update tool. This is a small program that keeps the firmware of your product up to date. Once you've downloaded both files, you'll want to unzip them from your downloads folder or wherever you've chosen to download them to. Follow the installation packages here and at the end you'll be prompted to restart your machine. Once you've completed installation, two programs will be present on your machine. The first is Fireface USB settings, which allows you to change various options about your interface. As we are using the Babyface Pro FS, these are the available options for this interface and will differ slightly depending on your product. For the Babyface Pro FS, these include your buffer size, which determines the latency between incoming and outgoing data. There is the EQ for record option, which allows the total mix effects EQ to be passed through your signal chain for recording. You'll also find drop downs for switching the optical outputs between ADAT and SPDIF, allowing you to expand your interface with additional mic pre's, instrument or line inputs, and other external devices like CD players and hi fi equipment. Underneath that is another drop down for reducing the number of Windows driver model devices, which can help improve the performance of your operating system. You also have the option to change your sample rate, although you can usually do this directly from your DAW or recording software. Then you have your clock settings. Leaving this set to internal will allow you to use your RME interface as the master clock when connecting other digital audio equipment to your interface. Alternatively, you can set it to optical in which will allow you to slave the RME if you'd prefer to use the clock from an external source as the master. Finally, there is a pitch section which allows you to make small adjustments to the sample rate. This allows for maximum flexibility as well as for those working with video and the different frequencies this requires. As well as Fireface USB settings, Total Mix Effects, the mixing software from RME will also be downloaded onto your machine. Total Mix Effects is a mixing software which allows you the freedom to route your signal in virtually any way in which you could imagine. If you'd like to learn more about using Total Mix Effects, head over to RME's YouTube channel and check out their beginner series of videos. Alternatively, for a more in-depth run through, you can watch our own two-part series, which you'll find links for in the description. Thanks for watching this getting started video. If you found it useful, please do like and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all our future content.